what are we doing, Doc? I'm sure you don't want to be here as much as I don't want to be here. Court mandated bullshit. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure. Whoa, that's an interesting accent. Where are you from? I'm British. Does it bother you that I have an accent? Nah, it's just weird, that's all. You know you have an accent as well. Yeah? Well, my accent doesn't suck. I've just never had a therapist not from here. Your tattoos, what do they mean? I was once young and impulsive, but I don't regret them, nor anything I've done, really. Those choices are part of who I am. When I was 15, I saw a woman kill herself. You saw this happen? Did you try and stop her? No, I didn't. I mean, in a weird way, I was almost proud of her. Why are you smiling? Come on, Doc. At the end of the day, I'm a 15-year-old boy. What am I gonna say to her? I don't know why she was there. You didn't answer my question. I was walking down this street. Kind of a suburban area. I don't know why I was there. There she was. I could literally see the thoughts that she was thinking. Going back and forth in her head of should she, shouldn't she? And then she looked at me. We only locked eyes for a second, but that's when I knew what she was gonna do. And I wasn't gonna stop her. Here I am, looking at years on her face filled with anger, sadness, loneliness, hopelessness. How selfish would I be if I were to stop her? So what did you do? I stood there and watched. I left when the cops showed up. Thank you for sharing that with me. Can you tell me why you decided to start there? I've done this roundabout with therapists in the past. Just trying to cut to the chase. Forget about the small talk. Very well then. In the essence of cutting to the chase, let's try something different. Can I tell you a story? Maybe it will help us build a connection on a deeper level. It's your world, Doc. I'm just living in it. I had this dream not too long ago. I found myself in front of a hotel. Real dodgy place. I knew my wife was inside of this hotel with a gentleman. Now, I'd never met this man before, but I had so much anger and hatred towards this man. I found my way to a door which I knew was his. I don't know how I knew, but that's just how dreams are. I broke down the door. I remember grabbing his throat vividly and I'm choking him and I'm watching his life disappear before my eyes. See, I knew what I was doing and I wouldn't stop. If 
so happy. Almost, almost proud of myself. So I know exactly how you felt when you saw this woman kill herself. But it was just a dream. Wow. Doc. <laughs> I mean, I should be sitting on your chair. But you got some issues. Maybe I misjudged you. Maybe we got more in common than I thought. Doc. Indeed. Um, would, would you excuse me? Um, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs>